Hey guys, it's Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics and today we're going to be setting up a six gallon corner tank. So before we start the tank setup, I would like to um, show you guys how uh, the last tank, the 3.8 gallon rimless, uh, how that's looking right now. So let's check it out. All right, so no fish in here. Currently three ivory mystery snails. Um, plants are getting going. They're growing a little bigger. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So this here behind me is the corner tank we're going to be working on. This is a six gallon top fin corner tank. So um, I've never seen a top fin uh, filter like this before. We'll test it out. Sometimes I like these, uh, you know, sometimes these top fin filters are all right and sometimes they're just shitty. So um, yeah, we're going to do this tank up planted, I think. So let me show you. Uh, what I have going on here for supplies. So behind me is a giant shelf of crap <laughs> and I set up some stuff to show you guys that maybe we can incorporate in this tank. So we've got, uh, you know, multiple pieces of decor. I uh, haven't really decided what I'm going to put in there, whether I'm going to do like one centerpiece decoration or a couple little things. Uh, here we've got some uh, nice Mopani wood and spider wood, um, some more oak leaves. These are little suction cup planters and this little thing that, uh, I don't know, you can maybe suspend it from the lid. Uh, some live plants that I got out of the bowl, which is also doing nice. Um, thinning it out uh, has really... Uh, made it look, I think, a lot nicer. The plants were just so full and crazy. Um, and some, you know, little mats and stuff. Uh, colored paper, maybe I can use for background. Uh, heaters, um, sponge filters in case I want to go a different route. Uh, and things like that. Got some different substrate down here. I've got my planting substrate that I didn't use all of from last time. Black and white sand, uh, like tan sand, the crushed abalone, uh, black gravel, decorative stones. So uh, we'll see what I feel like putting in there overall. So we are going to start by adding our planted tank substrate first, just like last time. Get a nice smooth layer. And for this tank, I'd like to do black and white mixed sand, I think. So let's add that. top stop every now and then to smooth it let me move this add some more smooth it
think that'll be good. Make sure it's even. All right. Now we're going to add our cool piece of wood. This piece of Mopani wood's awesome because it has a hole in it. So I don't know though. Hmm. I want to do the spider wood also. It's kind of a perfect fit for this. Although I might have to weigh it down right here in the center with something because it'll most likely float at first. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Wonder how I want to arrange it. Uh, I like how it was right there. Awesome. Okay guys, that's me again and uh, it's actually the next day. I had to leave and go to work yesterday um, and then I got sidetracked with a bunch of other shit. So let's resume our video. Um, let's uh, start by adding a little bit of water into our tank. Okay, so just like last time with our little rimless setup, we've got uh, the bucket on the table filled with water. Uh, on a stool since it has to be um, higher than the tank itself in order to siphon out of there. Uh, we've got it uh, siphoning in there because it will not disturb the sand uh, as much as pouring it in with something. So uh, let's get that going here. If I can find my siphon pump. Right, and we're going so we'll let that fill a little bit and be right back okay so again we are mostly full nice and clear because of how we filled it I did prop a rock on top of that spider wood to keep it sunk uh, hopefully it'll be completely waterlogged uh, within a week or so maybe probably a little longer I guess so uh, we only filled it partially so I can put some decorations in there and uh, the plants and stuff so I can reach in there. So um, I'm going to plant this now. I've got my bucket of live plants and a pre-established sponge filter. We're going to stick in there to cycle it faster. Uh, same kinds of plants as um, uh, the last time I took them from that orb again. So I'm just going to plant this real quick and uh, I'll be right back so this video doesn't take forever. Okay, so I've got it planted here now. Kind of willy-nilly, but they'll grow into themselves. Um, I got this corner uh, filter running that came with the tank. Um, it came with this carbon insert thing which I took out because I don't want to crash the cycle that this pre-established sponge filter is uh, giving us. So we want to make that happen as quickly as possible. Um, so now uh, I'm just going to uh, add a couple more things and uh, top it off. So we're going to add a few oak leaves in there like last time, get some tannins in there, give it a nice natural look. Not sure what I'm going to stock this thing yet with, but uh, I will figure it out. And just add a dash of stability for good measure. And uh, now we're going to top this off the rest of the way. and. I have a trick to do this without using the um, the siphon. So I've got one of these floating beta log things. We're just gonna drop that in there. That'll float. 
and there's a hole in the top and you just take a pitcher whatever container pour it through the hole on top comes out the sides doesn't disturb your substrate so I think that's kind of a cool trick A heater plugged in there too with 25 water. Drop it in the comments if you have any stocking ideas for this thing. Then uh, we're going to replace it with the lid, but let me get everything. Oops, goes my air pump. get all the cords in the corner so the lid will shut if I can one of the most frustrating parts, I swear. All right, there we go. And let's turn it on. It's got the blue and the white, so. All right, there we are. Let's take a closer look. Like I said, hopefully these plants will grow into themselves, figure themselves out, so. There you guys have it. Six gallon top fin corner tank, all ready to go. Well guys, thanks for joining me yet again on another aquarium setup adventure. This has been Ruby with Unorthodox Aquatics and we will see you next time. Bye.